G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today we're going to cover how to install a Twitter pixel on your website. All right, let's jump into it. So over here we have my website, the back end, and we have Twitter profile. Now if you don't have an ads account for Twitter, you will need to set that up. So very easily you can go onto your Twitter profile and Twitter ads, follow the bouncing ball to set the account up. Now we're jumping forward. We've already done all of that. The campaign has been established. This is just how to install the pixel. I will have another video on how to set up your ads account. All you'll need to do once you're in uh, the ads profile <clears throat> is basically you will need to have a, a dummy ad, maybe set up something with $1, $5, whatever it is. You'll need to come over and basically come to tools and events manager. So what we're going to do from here is this is where we get the code, this is where we get the information, this is where we set up the data that we want Twitter to display and track. So this is what we're doing right now, okay? So add event source. So when it comes to this, we wanna have a universal website tag. Reason for that is it's interchangeable. So if we change what we want the tag to monitor and mark it to later on, we can change this. So we click that button there. Next, I agree. Here's our code, okay? So this is the code that we need to post into our website. So you wanna make sure that you grab absolutely everything, copy it. Now, you jump over to your, this is for WordPress. If you have a Squarespace website, if you have a Wix, this can all be uh, included on the site. So you will just have to do it a different way. It's pretty straightforward, but for a WordPress site, you will click onto your header footer code manager. I do have another video on how to install uh, this plugin so you can easily install this data. So you click on that and I'll leave the uh, section down below <coughs> for that. Uh, add new snippet. Snippet name, we'll call it Twitter Pix. Okay, it's a HTML. We want it to go site wide. And the brilliant thing about this plugin is you can honestly tick whatever page you want it to be. You can exclude it. Let's say maybe you've got two different pixels running because you're running a promotion, you're running a course, you're running a service, you're selling a product, you're able to utilize different uh, items there. We want it in the header. We come over here, paste the code. All right, code has been pasted, save. Now, sometimes, just FYI, you might need to clear the cache on your uh, WordPress browser if you're having any issues with it. So simply clearing the cache if you have a, a plugin like WP Rocket uh, can be beneficial because it, it might not actually show up. All right, so once we've done that, <coughs> jump back over to Twitter. Continue. Now, the ad event is a Specific. we're telling the code what we want it to do, what we want it to track. So if we were selling a product versus having individuals visit our website. So I'm setting this up to just have individuals visit the website. So this ad would dis be displayed in Twitter as something where individuals are scrolling through. They'll see my uh, small business coaching and then they will click on that and then be taken over to my page. So... Uh, Site traffic, let's just call it that. Site visits. So again, this is where you can set that if you want people to sign up, if you want to generate leads, uh, that would be utilizing the sign up, download, you have a video, you have a PDF, you have a course. All of this can be implemented into that tracking pixel. And that's why you utilize the universal one. Now, the beautiful thing is you can come in here as well and you can change it to a specific URL as well. So ultimately what you can do, let's say it's Black Friday, Christmas, uh, Easter, something like that's coming up. Uh, ultimately what you can do is you can then copy this, put the, set the code up. So what happens is it only fires when individuals land on that specific page. But for us, we want it to be across the entire website, okay? So the post engagement attribute. So ultimately what that is, is it's how long you want to attribute Twitter to that conversion. So let's say uh, you're scrolling through Twitter, you see my ad for small business coaching. You then click on that ad, you like what you see, but you're not interested in the service just yet. You then ultimately will exit and then maybe 
14 days later, you're like, yeah, I want to come back and work with Ron. I like that guy. He's all right. So you jump on and you sign up. In that scenario, it would be attributed to a Twitter conversion. Okay. So you can adjust how many days you want. Seven days is normally preferable because it could be other marketing channels that influence the individual. Now, when it comes to the post attribute, so let's say that's someone that's scrolling on Twitter. So you're scrolling away on your feed and then what happens is they see your ad. So they see the small business coaching ad, but they don't click on it. But then however, later that day, or it could be two days later, they decide to come back to my website and go, I want to sign up for that service. That's what this is attributed to, okay? So we simply hit save. Now you should be showing this. What you want to do from here is you need to install just a, a Chrome browser, which is the Twitter Pixel Helper. This will be linked down below, okay? So there's gonna be a link to everything I talk about uh, today down in the section below. You install this in your browser. And the reason for this is you don't need to then go and look for one of your ads and pay for a click. Uh, to ensure that the pixel is activated. If you install this in your browser, ultimately what you then do is you can just come over, uh, let's open up the new page. Now this should fire. Now if it says that it has fired successfully, excellent. That's what we want to see. We want to see that the Twitter pixel helper has identified that there's a pixel there and it's fired. So that's ultimately what we're looking for. Now, when we come back over here, if we refresh this, this should change to active. Beautiful. All right, so it is now fired. It is now working. Uh, there's a thousand and one things you can do with your Twitter pixel, uh, which I strongly recommend you go into depth with it. The main thing is measuring and tracking your ad performance. You should not be running campaigns on social media if you do not have pixels installed. I have a ton of videos on the LinkedIn, Facebook pixels, installing all of that onto your website. It's crucial if you wanna track and monitor successful campaigns. You're gonna know what's a success and what's a failure. Very, very important this, in this day and age. Also, you can retarget individuals. That is the best benefit of the pixel, I personally believe in my years of marketing opinion. It is if someone visits my website, and then they, they go on to Twitter later on that day, three days later, whenever it is, you're scrolling through the feed, that individual will be displayed my, uh, my ad. So that's where it becomes very powerful is you're retargeting the individuals that are interested in your services. That's ultimately how you install it, how you check the pixel to ensure that it's working. You can add a ton of different events here again. So now that we've installed that code on the website, it's there forever, it'll stay there. And all we need to do is continuously add whatever events for each new marketing campaign we have. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. And if you've gained some value from it, I really appreciate a like, subscribe, it's coming out with a ton of interesting and easy videos to make sure that you guys can set this up because normally we charge pretty penny for this. So I hope this helps. I hope you have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you again. Cheers, guys.